I told Steve, we got to make something up tempo. And our first attempt was, boom, there it is. And everybody thinks it's this big Manhattan project where we're wearing lab coats. And no, <laughs> just the song. Just the song about <laughs> young men chasing women and drinking on a Friday night, which is the theme of every country song, rock and roll song, hip hop song, blues song that, that's out there. Fast forward, I was struggling with trying to find a deal because people want, people like the record, but it just, they just didn't know what to do with it. And a young lady named Lisa McCall used to work at Island Records. She told me, hey, call Al Bell. For those who don't know who Al Bell is, in the beginning of soul music in the 60s, there were three record companies, Billy International, Barry Gordy Motown, and Stax Records, which was owned by Al Bell. Mm. The year before, he put out an up-tempo record called Daisy Dukes, and it went gold. I was like, that makes sense. I don't mind going gold because we didn't have no concept of gold and platinum back then. We just wanted to be rock stars. I called him two weeks later. He called me and I was like, look, dude, I got a hit record. You really need to sign us. He's like, okay. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa uh -uh, don't play with me. You haven't even heard the record. <laughs> and I'll never forget these words. He said, brother, I don't have to hear the record. I hear it in your spirit. Hmm. Let's agree to agree. Wow. Let's get this thing moving. I gave about two weeks at the club I was at, signed a messed up record deal, and a month and a half tag team was platinum. The rest wow. is it. 